Hi, this is Dr. Graves from the CSUN Geography Department and geographyplanet.org. This is a video tutorial that will um, help students learn to join two sets of data that have a common identifier. And uh, it's a two-part video. This part will use the technique and the tool called VLOOKUP. So lookup tables is what we're going to do. And then the second one will use uh, pivot tables to do much the same. So what you see on the screen is some data that I downloaded. This data is, this tab here is the EPA data from Cal Enviro screen. And this data here on this tab is from the US Census. And there is a common set of data in these call this first column, they're both the census tract. Now the EPA data is clearly for the entire state of California. The census data is only for Los Angeles County. So what we're going to do is um, modify the data a little bit and then perform a join on a new sheet. So let's go first to the EPA data. And what I'm going to have you do is um, take a look at, here's a couple of things going on. First, the census tract data. Note when I highlight the data over here on my data ribbon at the bottom, my calculation ribbon, it gives me the count, but minimum, maximum, sum, and average. This tells me that this data is functioning like a number. And so we're going to have to fix that because census tracts, like zip codes, which are also functioning like a number in this spreadsheet, are not numbers. They are numeric identifiers, and so they should be functioning as text. So we're going to have to fix that. But the first thing that we're going to do before that, we're going to click in cell B1 here on the words California County, that cell, and then I'm going to click on sort and filter and ask the, the software to filter the data. So I just clicked on filter and I only want the census tracts from Los Angeles County. So I'm going to click off on select all. I'm scrolling down till I see Los Angeles. I'm going to click on that and click OK. And so now I have just the data that I want from just the county of interest. In this case, it's Los Angeles County. So I'm going to copy this data, which includes a bunch of environmental counts. And I'm going to highlight it, highlight the whole block of data. That uh, could be Control A or however you want to highlight. I choose a control shift, left arrow, and down arrow. Press control C to copy, and I'm going to go over um, to click on the plus sign here to add a new sheet. And I'm going to paste, and I just really want to paste the values. OK, and so then here I have the data that I want. And before I can move on, I need to change this census tract data into something that will match my census data. So how do I know my census data will match? Well, let's go ahead and grab this census data. And let's see, I'm not going to get all of it just so it's easier to see. I'm going to copy the first handful of columns. Um, that was Control and Shift and Down Arrow press control C and I'm going to paste this into I'm going to give myself a couple of extra columns here and I'm going to paste it. These two columns I'm going to widen up and double click to widen them to their uh, maximum width. Uh, have the data that I want but I don't really need this one so I'm going to click on a Q, which highlights the entire column, and, and then click on this Delete button. I'm not pressing the Delete button on my keyboard, but this Delete, which removes everything, including the column itself. OK, so 
Now what I have here is an ID column that contains the census tract identifier. Everything, and I'll zoom in here so you can see this better, everything to the right of the letter S, double click on here, all of that, that is the census tract ID and that should function as text. Now if I highlight this, notice that I'm only getting a five, a count of five, which indicates that this is functioning as text. It's not getting an average or a, a sum. It just counts the number of cells. So what I want to do is divide this up, and there's only one good way to do that. I'm going to highlight the cells containing the data. That was control shift and down arrow. I'm going to click on the data tab and I'm going to click on the tool called text to columns. Click. And in this case, I can use a delimiter if I want. So if I went and clicked next, I would put the delimiter as the letter S. And notice here that there is a line drawing right down where the S used to be. And that will work just great for this. You can also, by the way, go with fixed width and click and just use your mouse to click in here where you want. Either way will work just fine. Click Next. I don't want to import this column of data. We want to throw it away because it is of not no use to us. And then for the remainder of the data, it is very important that we notify the software that this is textual data. It looks like numbers, but it should function like a zip code. And then just click Finish. Now we have census tracts, and that is what we need to match to this data here. But unfortunately, these are still wrong, so we need to fix that column up so these are not functioning like numeric values. They're functioning like uh, text. That's what we need. So. I don't need this column of data at this point because we know it's Los Angeles. So I'm going to call this ID for census tract ID. And I'm going to write a quick formula here. And it's called concatenate equals concat. I'm just typing that in. And I'm going to press the tab button, which will finish spelling that formula and add the open parentheses for me. And what I want to do is to add as concatenate, which is sort of paste together a zero and then the value from cell A2 just like that. Close parentheses, boom. Notice that the data here is left justified and looks exactly like the data here. So all I need to do at this point is to copy and paste this all the way down, replacing all the word Los Angeles with tracked IDs. I can um, control shift down arrow to highlight it and then press enter or control V or I can do this little trick which is notice my cursor goes from um, thick to thin and when it's thin I can just double click and everything is pretty good to go at this point. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom everything has been concatenated properly. So then the last step is to 
copy it once again, press Control C, and then I want to paste the data. I'm going to go back to home and paste everything back in as values, which replaces my concatenated, uh, my concatenation formula with just the outcome of the formula. So I'm pasting just the values back in. All right. So now we have two columns of data that we can ask the software to match up. Now you might be tempted to say, oh, look, well, there's 110 and 110 and uh, census tract 1122 and 1122. But if we go to the bottom, notice that there are three more on this side that aren't on this side and that they may not all match up. They could be sorted. What if I go ahead just to prove my point to sort the data here so that this column of data doesn't easily match this column of data here. Well, when you do that, you need this final bit called VLOOKUP. And I'm going to put total here for the total population, and then Hispanic here for the Hispanic population, and then uh, we'll put uh, non-Hispanic white in this column. And we're going to derive it from the values in these columns that I'm highlighting. How do we do that? We use the VLOOKUP uh, tool. So you type equals VLOOKUP and then you find the value you want to look up and in this case it will be this one and then you say you press uh, comma, and then you tell it the table that has the data you want. And in this case, it is this table here. So I am highlighting it, control shift and down arrow. Very important to press F4, which you will notice puts dollar signs to f in the formula to freeze it. I'm going to press comma again. And then now it's asking which column of data from the table that's highlighted in red do I want to return a value for. And this is column two. And then I want an exact match. So I have to type in the word false. And we're going to do one more thing. I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of just the B in the first reference here, B2. That way I can copy this formula to cell M and N and only slightly modify them to get all the data. So there we go. That is the total number of people in this tract according to the data in this column. I'm going to copy this over to and then I want to change it to column three data, which is the, the data that contains the number of Hispanics or Latinos. And then I want to change it once again and make it column one, two, three, four, five. So column five is the number of non-Hispanic white people in that in that census tract. So now I can copy this, go all the way down and paste it, and it will have looked up all of these values. We're just going to check real quick to make sure that it did it right. I'm going to sort this column, or this uh, pile of data here, A to Z again, bring it back, and there's our values, 4371, 1324, and 2656. That is VLOOKUP tables. Now you probably want to, the last step here is you probably want to uh, copy and paste this back as values. And then you can do all kinds of analyses on the relationship between, um, say, the percent Hispanic 
and the you know low birth weight or the cardiovascular disease.